Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm with Sarah, and we just got out of a screening of A Wrinkle in Time, and we just kind of wanted to give our little review of the movie because it's, it is coming out this week. Yeah. Spoiler free. Spoiler so free review. You don't have to worry about anything if you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> well, I think one of the big things is this movie has an incredible cast. Yes. Of women, especially. If you didn't know. Uh, Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy, Mindy Kaling. Kaling as the three witches in the movie. Yeah, the witches. Witches. And the misses. The misses. <laughs> the That's misses, what they call yeah. it in the movie. Uh, which is an incredible group of women, to say the least. And uh, introducing uh, the youngest uh, character, which is played by Storm Reed. She plays Meg, the protagonist. Yeah. And I think this movie is especially powerful for... For not only women, but also... Uh, young kids. Young, young kids as well. Yes. In the book, I don't know if you've read the book. It honestly doesn't matter if you've read the book before you see the movie. But if you mm -hmm. have, um, they, they just made characters more diverse than they necessarily would have been in the book. The book, it doesn't matter if the characters are white or Indian or African American or anything. And so they just chose to make certain characters different ethnicities, which is a really great choice in making the movie more diverse. Yeah, I yeah. think that it definitely went on that blind casting because I, I mean, Reese Witherspoon's character is that quirky, funny like yeah. character, and like that's Reese Witherspoon. Like they definitely, I think the casting of this movie is the pinnacle of it. Yeah. Uh, also, this movie has a great message. Yeah, there's huge a few, message. There's a few messages, um, and they're both or they all are really important, I think, for young adults mm -hmm. is what we're getting at. Um, one of the big messages, I think, is that um, our faults or what we perceive as our faults are what make us unique mm -hmm. and make us special as people. That's like a really big one throughout the whole movie. And then the other one, I think, would be that um, there is darkness that makes mm -hmm. us all like jealous or competitive or like generally like meaner people and to always be striving to like bring out the light in each other and mm -hmm. bring light to the world that's like the essentially other essentially be yourself be yourself and be good mm -hmm. are the two big themes before the screening uh actually ava duvernay the director came out and mentioned that this movie is is for the kid and everyone mm -hmm. this movie was made for kids and I think it's it's a it's a great film to take kids to for sure uh, not only the messages but it's just a fun movie mm -hmm. uh, the special effects are great uh, the comedy is great um, but I, I like we said before like the messages and I think what people will take away from this movie is is very impactful one thing I was really excited about before seeing the movie is the soundtrack they announced who was gonna be on the soundtrack just a few days before we saw mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, and there's a really great track from Demi Lovato mm -hmm. that I l noticed during the movie. Um, Shaw Day came out of retirement basically to do an original song for this. There's like DJ Khaled there <laughs> yeah. at the end. It's a great, it's a great <laughs> mixture of a bunch of different kind of music. And I think like, like Disney has been on a, the music game, like the Black Panther soundtrack just came out and yeah. it's great. Uh, the Wrinkle in Time soundtrack, you wouldn't expect, but another it's, one. it's up there. <laughs> it is up there. I think that, uh, uh, book readers will really appreciate the adaptation. That's how I came out of it feeling. Like we said, I don't think you need to have read the book to like enjoy I it. I did not read the book. But as someone who has read the book, I was like, they did some really interesting things with the story. They stayed pretty extremely true to the book in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Um, and that was really fun to see. Like, I grew up reading this book. I read it probably for the first time in the seventh grade. And I reread it um, just this summer. And so I have it fresh in my mind. And I was like, it's a really, like, true adaptation of the book. Another thing I just want to shout out to my boy Calvin in the movie. Because <laughs> somehow I accidentally cosplayed him. He's literally uh, wearing this jacket. <laughs> when you guys, we just got out of the screening. And I just, I just wore this sweater. Legit has the, the same, same sweater. sweater. I turned to Sarah and I was like, well... I this cos what you this cosplay awkward. character. Accidentally cosplay. The other thing that I like about this movie is that it's so focused on science mm -hmm. and like, um, you know, STEAM education is like a really big movement in schools right now and I think they really like hone in on, um, you know, th what can be gained from exploring, uh, you know, science and outer space and like all these different things mm -hmm. and it, it, they make it seem really cool and something that like should, you should be interested in as a young kid and I think that is just like another aspect to it that I enjoyed. Yeah, especially going along again with the messages thing, there's one big part where um, 
they show like the pretty or the popular girl in school and like you don't need to be that kind of person you don't need to be the one you need to lose weight i need to do this i need to do that i need to look at magazines and look like that it's another one of those like body projection messages where you don't need to be that person like people will like you for you yeah you don't need to be anybody but yourself Mm -hmm. is like the whole thing yeah. The whole message of family, I think, is really there as mm-hmm. well. Um, you know, the two main characters-ish are Meg and her little brother, Charles Wallace. And, like, the whole story revolves around them and their love for each other and their love for their father. And I thought that was, like, I was super emotional. Like, I, I cried, like, four different times, <laughs> like, towards the middle through the end. Like, it was just like, oh, I hope there's enough time before the lights come on where I'm not crying. <laughs> um, so all of that was really, like, very impactful and very emotional. And uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Overall, I think, I, I don't think this is, like, the best thing we've ever seen from Disney. But, like, in terms of the story, and I have to give credit to the novel itself as well, it's a very impactful story. And I do recommend if you have a family, especially with younger children, to take them to. Because these are really important life lessons that I think will go a long way, especially with kids in today's society. Yeah, I think the the morals and like what can be learned from this movie are really important for kids. I think it appeals to young boys, young girls, all ethnicities. I think the diversity that they're putting forward is really important and should be supported. So like go see it in theaters for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I think you'll have a good time watching yeah. it. Thanks for attractions for sending us yes. and make sure to check out Wrinkle in Time in theaters on March 9th. See you guys later. <laughs>